Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of creating process. And here's a logo which we're going to design today. And if you look at this logo, we have used only one shade of color, that is grayscale, white and dark. And in this logo, we have made the hexagon and from the top, we have folded it to form a crease. And in the right hand side also, we have extended the face to form a very nice round smooth folding here. And at the end, we have added the gradient color to create a sense of depth. So to design this logo, we will follow only three steps. First, we will uh, make the hexagon of certain thickness. Second, we will create these creases and this folding. Third, we will add the gradient color. And last, we will add the text. So let's begin the tutorial. So to create this, we will use the polygon tool. So polygon tool left click your mouse button so here we got a polygon palette and here we'll keep the side 6 and he may keep the radius around 90 points click ok and here we got the polygon here we have here uh, we have removed the fill color and we have added the stroke color white and after that keep the stroke thickness around 40 and rotate this to certain angle like this with the shift pressed this will with the shift press if you rotate it will rotate the object by 45 degree so you can use that the next thing is we will be creating this folding so to create that we'll, before that we will convert this into object form so to convert this into object form we'll go to object expand right now our object is in stroke form because we are using the stroke thickness so we want this to be converted into object so we are using the expand to convert this into fill object now you can see that it's filled now the next thing is we'll create this crease to create this crease we will duplicate this with all shifts just drag it up and place it here ensure that these points overlap each other now again duplicate it one more time and place it in the center here so you can see that like this now select everything go to pathfinder and just divide it and after that right click ungroup it now delete all the pieces which we don't need so we will delete this 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 and will this so we got this piece the stop one now we need this this one but we don't we need an empty space here so we don't need this so we'll remove that we're using the line segment tool so we'll draw the line segment from here center till here and go to object path divide object below and this will divide the object which is which was below that line segment so select this delete it so overall we have got a basic shape here now we'll remove all the pieces which you don't need so like this we can select this delete it out select this delete there are a few pieces which was left behind while we were convert dividing it so we have to remove that and after that next thing we will create this but before that we'll just uh, make this uh, small small pieces on one object so we need this one piece so select everything combine it select these pieces combine it and select these pieces combine it now the next thing is we need to make this so we'll do that so we'll do it manually by using the right selection tool just click and drag it out till it matches here around like this now just uh, do some little adjustment here we'll just move a little bit upward and downward with the arrow keys like this okay here we can keep like that now next we will use the convert anchor point tool and just drag it up so here we need like this and click on this here in the same way we'll extend this out this portion because we need this one straight so we'll just extend it up till here and after that just extend it out and just click here it will uh, if we click on the other handle it automatically st uh, straighten out so in this way we'll do this like this this one in this way and just click this so it's straight and from here also we'll use the same thing and click it out okay click it out 
and remove the extra points which we are having like this one and if we have an error we can look at that so here just do the manual adjustment straight it out with your handle selected just keep it straight and in the same way keep on doing that so here here we need a little more adjustment okay now next thing is we need to add this piece this one so we'll draw it out so with the pen tool from here till here till here and till here and after that we'll just make this curve so with the diag anchor point tool select and just drag in the same way we have done it earlier and just click on this handle to straighten out in the same way we'll just drag this out so that we can get the handle and after that just small it down and adjust with the two handles here ensure that there's no gap in between them if it's you should just extend it out and ensure that this is the point we need our point to be attached here so select the point and just place it there and with the handle just fill the empty spaces and now next thing select these pieces go to pathfinder and just divide it and ungroup it and just delete this piece which we don't need and select the pieces and combine it to create one object so here we got our object and arrange this to back this to bring it this to front bring this to front this will be good so after that you can see that we have formed the overall shapes now the only thing we need is the gradient color so fill this with the gradient color here with the RPQ now do little adjustment here so we'll do that with the gradient tool to so select this piece select the fill color and with the gradient tool just extend it up make sure here is a little much darker here to just keep that so that we can uh, feel the shadow effect here we need lighter this side so just click and just drag it up this one with a gradient color click and just drag it up here we need lighter and the darker so we have to maintain that a little darker select this piece now and with the gradient make that little more lighter than the lower one so we can see the depth here the same way we if we need little more adjustment we can just select and with the gradient tool move until you got a uh, real effect so just keep on going it so you can see that we have formed the overall design we had little bit of we have added the reflection we have added the depth we have added the gradient color and looking great now the last thing is we will add the text so we'll select the text write out C R E A S E crease and we can see that it's black so we'll fill it with white color and after that we need to do the little adjustment so we'll go to character scale it the font to around I think 20 let's check it out okay a little bit we can do it later the scaling part here we need to see that there is some number adjustment here which controls the spacing between the two alphabets so if I keep zero you can see that the spacing has gone and if so we need space so I'm putting around 900 here for this logo and just scale, scale this up to fit our logo's length just scale it up so you can see that it's perfect so we have created the text we have created a logo and overall it's complete so this is how we can create this kind of logo hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button thank you